Good afternoon, Detroit. Batman, bananas, and bugs. So first off, bats made Batman cool. That's the first thing. Bananas, we all love, and uh, bugs, we might not. I'm uh, Rob Myas. I'm the executive director and founder of the Organization for Bat Conservation. I've worked with bats for almost 25 years now. Uh, actually graduated from Eastern Michigan University. I was the last Huron, so I guess go Eagles. And uh, I'm a scientist. I've traveled all over the world from Australia to Asia. Uh, I do work in Nicaragua. I think that was in Trinidad right there, taking a bat out of, uh, bat out of a net. I travel all over the country. Two days ago, I was in Denver. Tomorrow, I'll be in New York City. Um, I wonder why everybody wants a bat program around Halloween. <laughs> I'm also an author, so I've written several books. Um, I'm really excited today because I can tell you about our new Save the Bats campaign. And this campaign is really about connecting millions of people in North America to the facts that bats are critically important to our economy and our ecology, that bats are disappearing and there are things that we can do to help bats. So the first thing we can do to help bats is to put up a bat house. Bat houses are easy things that we can put up. It also provides bats an alternative so they don't live in your attic, they don't live behind your shutters, they continue to eat tons of insects. You can plant a wildflower garden. You know, bees, bats, uh, butterflies, uh, birds, all kinds of animals are gonna benefit from these native species of flowers. And as well, uh, we can uh, teach our friends about bats, too. When I brought out the biggest bat in the world, you can see how Conan's <laughs> response was to it. I have that same bat to show you today in a couple of minutes, by the way. Uh, the way that bats find their food is by using high-pitched ultrasonic sounds. Those ultrasonic sounds, we as humans really can't hear, but with electronic devices, we can hear it. So that's what you're listening to. It's also slow motion video here of bats catching insects. We also know that not only are bats uh, interesting and unique, but bats save U.S. farmers upwards of $53 billion annually in insect control, $1 billion worldwide just by eating one type of insect, and it's the corn earworm moth. The corn earworm moth all over the world destroys billions of dollars worth of crops. Corn is so important to us. Cotton. Um, and um, almonds, all these types of plants rely on bats. Let's take a look at this bat eating up close. At the Organization for Bat Conservation, we get a lot of injured bats in. This is People a live, of them. can you see this okay? This is a live mealworm. Do you want that mealworm? Oh! There we go. Oh, oh that is... is really adorable. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he was being sarcastic, first off, because I know Conan. Uh, he was a little, you know, he's a city guy, so he's a little afraid of bats, like a lot of people. But um, what I'd love for you to be able to see, that's a local bat. That's a Detroit bat that I brought out to LA. That was, right there was a Detroit bat. Not... <laughs> Alright, he currently lives up in Bloomfield Hills, but he does, he is a Detroit bat. Uh, at the Cranbrook Institute of Science, where our organization for bat conservation is located. You know, we're a wildlife sanctuary, so these wonderful animals are, uh, make great wildlife ambassadors. So people get a chance to see them up close, like those. We travel all over uh, the country to teach people. Well, uh, not only are bats important because they uh, help uh, protect us from insects, but also they pollinate plants. Who likes guacamole? Guacamole is delicious. You might have had some. Uh, bats pollinate avocados. Who likes bananas? Does anybody like here bananas? Okay, bats pollinate bananas. Who likes, um, oh, I don't know, tequila? Anybody? <laughs> Margaritas, anyone? Well, bats are the only pollinators of agave that we make tequila from. The only pollinators. No more margaritas without bats. Bats also spread seeds in the rainforest, and they spread seeds of many different types of plants we love, from dates and figs and mangoes. But unfortunately, bats are starting to die off. We've actually had a huge decrease in bats. They do keep us healthy, and we need to protect them. Uh, we have uh, a lot of habitat loss from, from uh, overpopulation and urban sprawl, pesticides uh, that are being sprayed, or even people just not liking bats. We've had huge decreases. Here in Michigan, though, unfortunately, in the last uh, couple of years, we've had a fungus that accidentally got here from Europe. 
it has uh, landed in caves and mines. And what this fungus does is it wakes the bats up too many times and they end up starving before the winter is over. In less than 10 years, it has spread to half of the United States and half of Canada, and about a million bats a year die from this. A million bats a year. If we have a lot less bats, we will not have a lot more insects. We will just spray a lot more pesticides. Not good for us, not great for our economy either. What are we doing to help protect them? When bats hibernate during the winter, we're closing off those caves and mines, we're developing treatments that we can help bats, but you can also do something to help bats. Hi, I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite species of animals, the bat. We're at the Bat Zone at Cranbrook Institute of Science, headquarters of the Organization for Bat Conservation. We are in one of our enclosures, checking out some of the biggest bats and some of the smallest bats that are here at the Bat Zone. Bats keep the planet healthy. Bats eat millions of bugs every night. Because bats eat bugs, farmers can use less pesticide on their food. This really big bat right here is Tom, and Tom is a Malayan flying fox. It's the largest bat species in the entire world. The little bat is called an evening bat. One of the biggest problems in North America is that insect-eating bats are dying because of a fungus. And unfortunately, it grows on bats while they hibernate during the winter. Millions of bats are dying each year. So far, a disease called White Nose Syndrome has killed about six million bats in North America. Essentially, these bats are on the verge of completely dying out not only would we lose an extraordinary species, the death of our bats would be catastrophic to our ecosystem. There was just this little blurb in the news I saw about bats getting this thing called white nose fungus. I think that we all just take for granted that there's bats and bats are gonna be fine. But then as we started doing the research, we actually found that the bats are in a dire straits actually, as a movie that benefits from the bats. We thought we're gonna build these bat habitats as a way to raise awareness and just Generally, let's learn about bats and know how they benefit us because they're really important. Bat houses give healthy bats a safe place to raise their babies, and that gives bats a fighting chance to repopulate. Plus, putting up a bat house is a fun thing to do with kids. Well, it is a great thing to do. Uh, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine here. This is Fred. Fred is really excited to be out here today. This is a Malayan flying fox uh, on the video there with uh, Ben Affleck. Uh, Zack Snyder. We actually were able to work with uh, Amy Adams as well. You know, people became really interested and excited about bats because bats are so critically important to us. You know, our tiny little Detroit bats are little insect eaters, but those pollinators and those seed dispersers, like these giant fruit bats, are so critically important to the rainforest. We consider them to be keynotes, uh, keystone species that are totally important to rainforest regeneration. This is the biggest bat in the world with upwards of a six foot wingspan, and it weighs about three pounds. Now Fred is, uh, does have a wing injury, he's 18 years old, and he'll live with our organization for the rest of his life, but he does make uh, for a great animal ambassador. So three takeaway things. One, put up, it, put up bat houses to help our Detroit bats. Plant gardens to help our wildlife here in Detroit and teach your friends. This is Luke from Ohio. He came up last week to our Great Lakes Bat Festival. He raised $200 by selling lemonade this past summer to help white nose syndrome research. So please join our Save the Bats campaign. Come and visit us over uh, at Cranbrook and come and see Fred and help make Detroit a healthy place to live for all wildlife and ourselves. Thank you so much.